In this video, we're going to tackle a question from the USSR Math Olympiad. The question is a proof that for all natural numbers n, the expression 1 plus 1 over n all to the power n is bigger than or equal to 2 and less than 3. Then how to prove it? We're going to have two main steps. First, we're going to prove the expression is bigger than or equal to 2. Now let's get started. From 1 plus 1 over n to the power n means we have 1 plus 1 over n, 1 plus 1 over n, n times. So here we have n terms of 1 plus 1 over n. So if we add one more term, if we put a 1 here, so then we have n plus 1 terms. Next, we're going to use AMGM inequality. Means arithmetic mean is less than or equal to geometric mean. So now let's see what's AM for our case. The arithmetic mean for our case, just all these n plus 1 terms adding together, divided by n plus 1. Then here, just 1 plus 1 plus 1 over n, n times. So here, multiply by n, then divided by n plus 1. Then simplify. Then top is 1, then here is n. Then this one is 1. Then divided by n plus 1. So that means we have the arithmetic mean to the equals if we separate from here. So then we have 1 plus 1 over n plus 1. So now let's see the GM, the geometric mean. So GM, just because we have n plus 1 terms, so that means just n plus 1 root, then the n plus 1 terms multiply together. So then here just 1 then times 1 plus 1 over n times itself n times, then to the power of n. So now let's apply the AMGM inequality. So that's the arithmetic mean is bigger than or equal to the geometric mean. So then for our case, AM is here, GM is here. So that means this term, 1 plus 1 over n plus 1 is bigger than or equal to this part. Just n plus 1's root, the bottom, the under the root is 1 plus 1 over n, then to the power of n. Next, we want to get rid of the n plus 1's root. So then both sides raise to the power of n plus 1. So then here, so this side, then we have just 1 plus 1 over n to the power n. So then less than or equal to then this side, then just 1 plus 1 over n plus 1, then raised power of n plus 1. So then what that means, so this one means for 1 plus 1 over n, o to the power n is less than or equal to when the n increased by 1, when the power n increased by 1. So that means for this expression is increasing in n. So here, n is any natural number. Because the smallest number for n is 1, so that means for this expression, the smallest value is when n equals 1. So then we have, so this expression is bigger than or equal to the expression when n equals 1. So then here, 1 plus 1 over 1, when the power is 1. So here, so this expression is 1, n equals 1. So let's simplify here. So then we have 1 plus 1 over n, all to the power n is bigger than or equal to this one's 2. 
bigger than or equal to 2. So then we just proved this expression is bigger than or equal to 2. So that's the first part of the inequality. So now let's prove the second part. So we need to prove we need to prove this one. 1 plus 1 over n all to the power n is less than 3. So we're going to start from here. So then this one, just 1 plus 1 over n to the power n. Then this time, we're going to use binomial formula. Then here, just k from 0 to n. Then here, n choose k. Then the first term, 1 to the power n minus k. The second term, then 1 over n to the power of k. Now let's simplify. Then here, just write down the sum. Then here, just n factorial. Then the bottom, k factorial. Then times n minus k factorial. So this is 1, then here is 1 over n to the power of k. So let's continue to simplify. Then here, the sum. Then write down 1 over k factorial. So then for these two terms, n factorial and the k minus 1 factorial, cancel out the common factor k minus 1 factorial. So that on top, we have the following. So then we have k n times n minus 1, and here n minus k plus 1. Now let's see the bottom. So here, so n times n to the power of k. So then here we have k terms. We have k terms. So now let's see the bottom, n to the power of k. Then here, so n times n then times n. And also here, we have k terms. Because here, the product on top is less than the product on the bottom. So that means this whole thing is less than 1. So now let's see. So then write down this sum. So here, then k from 0 to n. Then write down 1 over k factorial. So if we use 1 for this whole thing here, so then this one here is less than. Okay, so now let's continue this part. So next, we want to separate k equals 0 from the rest of the part. So then here, just 1 over 0 factorial. Then here, just k from 1 to n. Then 1 over k factorial. So now let's see the k factorial. Because k factorial equals k times k minus 1, then here 2 times 1. Then from 2 other than 1, from 2 to k here, we have k minus 1 terms. And all these terms, each one is bigger than or equal to 2. So that's why here is bigger than or equal to 2 to the power k minus 1. So next, we're going to use 2 to the power k minus 1 to replace k factorial. So now let's see. So let's continue this part. So then this one simplified, that's 1. Then plus here, this sum. Then here, k from 1 to n. So 1 over, we're going to use 2 to the power k minus 1 replace k factorial. So then here, 2 to the power k minus 1. Because k factorial is bigger than or equal to 2 to the power k minus 1, when the bottom getting smaller, then the fraction is getting bigger. So then the whole thing is getting bigger. So that's why here is less than or equal to. So now let's see here. Let's continue here. So then 1 plus so let's rewrite this term. In here, k equals 1 to n. Here we put the 1 over 2 to the power k minus 1. So then we notice this is the sum of a geometric sequence. 
So then we have this result. So for the sum of geometric sequence, we have the following result. So then equals 1 minus r to the power of n, then divided by 1 minus r. Then for our case, the common ratio r just 1 half. So then here r equals 1 half. So now we can apply this result to this sum of geometric sequence. So then here, just 1 plus is this result. The 1 minus 1 over 2, then to the power n, then the bottom, the 1 minus 1 half. Then let's simplify the bottom. Because simplify the bottom is 1 half, then here we have 2 times 1 minus 1 over 2 to the power of n. So here, n is a natural number. So the is bigger than or equal to 1. So that means for this part, the inside part is positive but less than 1. So then here, so if here we put a 2, 1 plus 2, then this one is 1 replace the whole thing here. So then this one is less than. Then here we have 3. So now we just proved 1 plus 1 over n to the power of n is less than 3. So then this is the second part of the result. So now let's combine result 1 with result 2. So then we have 1 plus 1 over n to the power of n is bigger than or equal to 2 and less than 3. That's it. That's for the proof. Thanks for watching.